Hello guys, what's up, Softoni here and in this After Effects tutorial we will be creating a beautiful and modern twist slideshow inside the After Effects without using any plugins. It's very easy to create and anyone who is new to After Effects can simply create this animation using some really simple techniques. Also make sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons and if you're new here, so without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started! Alright guys, here we are in After Effects and first, like always, let's create new composition. This is gonna be Final Camp and for the width and height, like usual, 1920 by 1080 30 FPS and for the duration, I will go maybe 10 seconds and of course you can type whatever duration you want here. Now I will hit OK and for the first step, let's also go here in the project window and I will just drag and drop this image 01 here and this is a larger image, so I will hit S to scale it down like so. You can also fit your image if it's bigger, okay? Also, I will just move it down a bit, okay? And now let's create our circle slideshow. Make sure to unselect this image 01. Now select this pen tool here. And also for the stroke, make sure that stroke width is set to around 300. And for the fill, set this to none. Again, make sure to unselect this image 01 and now let's go here on this little icon and turn on titles and action save. Now we will draw the line, hold shift and click here and also on this side to create the line. Okay, and now as you can see, we have gotten our line and now let's also rename it, click here and I will rename it to circle like so. Now let's open up this little triangle, go here on this first option, open up shape and let's also find here stroke one. Okay, and now I will animate this stroke width. Let's set up the first keyframe here at zero seconds. For the stroke width, I will hit zero. Okay, now let's go to around one second or so and let's type 300 again. And also for this line cap, I will change from butt cap to round cap. And as you can see, this is our basic animation. Now let's go here on add and I will find twist option OK, open up twist and for the angle I will type maybe somewhere around 850 and as you can see this is our basic twisted circle. Now let's also go here on this add option again and I will find trim paths, open up trim paths options. Let's go here again to 0 seconds and for the start and then parameter let's hit 50 like so and set up the first few frames also. Now let's go to around 1 second like before. And for the start value, I will type 0 and also for the end, let's type 100. Now what we can do is to select all of the four keyframes for these trim pads, go right click, keyframe assistance and hit here this easy is option. And now when we hit 0, this is our cool looking animation of our twisted circle. Now let's also close this shape and trim pads, open up transform. And I will just make it larger for the scale parameter. I will hit 150 to fill up the composition. And this is looking great. Now let's also select this image 01. And for the track mats, instead of none, change here to luma mat. And if you can find track mats, hit here toggle switches and modes. Find here luma mat. And this is looking great. And as you can see, this is all transparent behind. When we hit zero, we have this great looking animation. I'll just turn this off, OK, and now let's select both of the layers, go right click, pre-compose, and this is gonna be media 1, and then hit OK, and now as you can see we have this new media 01 composition. Now let's go inside, copy this circle, hit Ctrl plus C, and then go here again in the final composition, and I will hit paste, Ctrl plus V, OK, turn this on, alright. And now let's grab this media 01 composition, move it above, and I will move this media 01 composition 10 frames ahead, like so. And for the lower layer circle, let's go here in the effects and presets. If you can find, go here on Windows and you will find effects and presets here. I will type just fill effect, just drag and drop on the circle layer, all right. And change color to white color or whatever color you want. Let's hit Ctrl plus D or go edit 
and then duplicate for this circle layer. This is gonna be circle one, this is circle two, and this second one moved to around five frames ahead. And you can also change colors. I will do for this circle two, grab this eyedropper and maybe change to whatever color you want. And now when we hit zero, we have this great looking animation of our media one. Now let's go here inside. You can also animate media movement, go inside. I'll just hit S for scaling and set up the first keyframe and maybe for this media to go to around 46 because this is larger footage. In your example, if your media is full HD, you can type here maybe 120 for the first keyframe and then go to 1 second and 15 frames. I will lower this number down. You can also type here 100 if this is full HD and you can also see that our media also has this full movement. And let's go back here inside the final comp, hit zero once again, and this is looking awesome. All right, now what we can do is to create our text. Let's create basic text, hit control plus T and make sure to unselect everything or go hit here on this horizontal type tool. And I will just type random text. This is gonna be beautiful slide show like so, okay, select it. And let's go here inside the align panel, center it. If you can't find align option, just go window. You will find align here. Okay, now let's add here inside the effects and presets, drop shadow to add a little bit of cool shadows like so. Now let's go here inside this text, open up this little triangle, go here on animate, find here tracking. And also for the tracking amount, I will type maybe minus five to make this space in between our letters just a little bit smaller. Okay, now let's also close this animator one, go here on animate again, and let's find position. Here on this animator O2, let's also go here on add, do not go here on the first animator, go on second one and find property. And let's also click here for the opacity. And for the position, I will go maybe 120 or so. And now it's time to create basic movement for our text. Open up this little triangle and go here at zero seconds. Let's set up the first keyframe for the offset. This is gonna be minus 100, go to one second also and go to 100, okay. And open up this advanced tab and for the shape change from square to ramp up. And also let's increase this is low number. I will go to around 100 and also we can randomize order instead of off option change to on. And when we hit zero, this is gonna be our animation. One thing we have forgotten to do for the opacity, you can lower down to zero, okay. And now close this animator too. Select this beautiful slideshow layer and then go to around one second or so, hit zero. And this is gonna be our beautiful animation of this cool slideshow. You can also move this beautiful slideshow wherever you want, maybe somewhere around here also. And this is gonna be great. One thing we can also do to increase the scale, seconds of this scale animation. And here in the final one, this is gonna be great. All right, guys, this is the way so you can easily create this beautiful slideshow. You can also add here a bunch of different effects. You can also add here maybe a vignette or some light effects, whatever fits to you. You are also free to create even more slides. Just play around with this beautiful slideshow. And that was it for today's tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, hit also the like button. And take a look at my channel for even more great tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.